So a while ago, I made an English lesson where I taught you how to order food at a restaurant. And I thought I would do a similar lesson, but this time, instead of going into the restaurants, I thought I would take you through the drive through with me. So in this English lesson, I'm going to go to four different restaurants. I'm going to go through the drive through and I'm going to order a variety of things. Uh, and we're gonna get started right here at one of the most popular restaurants in North America, McDonald's. So at this restaurant, I'm going to use the phrase, I will have to uh, let them know what I want to order, but I'll actually use the short form. I'll say, I'll have. And I think at this restaurant at McDonald's, I think I'm gonna order a cheeseburger, a hamburger, a small Coke, and some fries. Um, my kids are really looking forward to me uh, bringing this food home. Thank you for choosing McDonald's. Are you collecting rewards points on the app today? Uh, nope. What can I get for you? Uh, I will have a hamburger, I'll have a cheeseburger, uh, I'll have a small Coke, I'll have a large fry, and I will have two apple pies, please. All right, so I have a hamburger, cheeseburger, large fry, small Coke, and two apple pies. Yes, please. Your total comes to 1420 first window. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, and at this restaurant, I'm going to be paying with cash. I brought actual money with me. I just have to find my wallet. Hi, it's 1419. Um, there's 15. Hopefully I get the right change. Hey, 80 cents. Thank you very much. I think that was the right change. Oh, by the way, there's two windows at McDonald's. You pay at one and then they give you your food and your drinks at the second one. That must be more efficient. Hi, right. there you go. Just grab me your food, okay? Thank you. He said, I'm just grabbing your food, okay? Thank you. That's ev that's everything. I, gu I guess that's everything. So Jen and I, for some reason, we really like the apple pies from McDonald's. I wasn't going to get them, but I thought that would be a nice surprise for Jen when I get home. So the next restaurant we're going to is called A&W. Uh, and at A&W, I'm going to order using the phrase, could I get another common phrase for ordering food at a restaurant. Uh, and I think I'm going to order a chicken burger, maybe a diet root beer, because I, I'm trying out diet root beer, uh, some fries, and uh, I'm going to use my debit card this time to pay. This drive through is not nearly as busy, so hopefully this goes a bit quicker. Uh, yeah, could I get a, let me see here, can I get a chicken buddy burger? Sure. Uh, chicken buddy burger? Yeah, why don't you make it two chicken buddy burgers and a small diet root beer? So you want a combo? We uh, can fries and onion rings? Yes, please. With fries and onion rings? Uh, fries, please. Fries and a diet root beer? Yeah, and could I get... Do you have uh, apple pies? So for the apple pies, it's going to be a great, like five to six minutes. Are you okay to wait? Uh, no, just skip the apple pie then. That'll do. No apple pie? No apple pie. Anything else? No, that's it. Thank you. So, one chicken buddy with fries and diet food beer, another chicken buddy just for sandwich, right? Anything else? Nope. You can drive with me. Thank you. There's a big truck in front of me. So, I better get my debit card out so that I'm ready to pay. I want to make sure that uh, when I get up there, I can either tap the card or I might have to insert it and punch in my pin. We'll see when we get there. Oh, it says pay here. So I guess this is where I pay. Okay, how are you going to pay? Uh, debit. Do you want to donate a dollar for them, miss? Uh, not today. 13 Oh, thank you. So the pop was ready, but I'm waiting for the uh, the burger and the fries still. So it's interesting. We have hamburgers, but we also have chicken burgers. We call both of them burgers. So here I'm waiting for my chicken burger. Actually, did I order two? I think I ordered two. 
my kids are pretty excited because when I come home after making this English lesson, there's going to be a lot of food for them to eat. I'm going to eat a little bit of it. I'll do too. Thank you. Okay, here we go. So this next restaurant that we're pulling up to now is called Tim Hortons. And it's more of a coffee shop, but you can get lunch there too if you want. We're going to order a decaf coffee with cream and sugar and probably six dozen donuts uh, for the kids. Um, and at this restaurant, I'm going to use the phrase I'd like, which is actually a short form of I would like. It's a very common way to order food. I'd like or I would like. Sometimes we even say I'd like to order or I would like to order. And at this restaurant, I'm going to pay with my watch, so I should get that set up. It's a pretty long line today. There's no one behind me, but there seems to be a lot of people in front of me. I'll open my window to get ready. It's almost my turn. Here we go. Hi, how can I help you? Yeah, I'd like a decaf coffee with cream and sugar. Three sugar. Uh, with cream and sugar. Medium. Uh, small, please. Small. And I would like six donuts, half a dozen donuts. Yep, anything else? Uh, can I pick the donuts? Yep. Uh, right now? You can tell me. Yeah, so Boston cream, chocolate dip, double chocolate, apple fritter. Okay. Vanilla dip. Okay. And chocolate glazed. Chocolate glaze? Yep. Sure, anything else? No, that's everything. Try it please. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I'm actually surprised that there's this many people. Um, it's actually a Wednesday and it's 11 o'clock in the morning. So I'm not sure why it's so busy right now. Oh well. Oh, it's nice. We're finally in the shade. It was getting a little hot sitting in the sun. We're almost up. We just have to wait for the person in front of us. Oh, they're paying with tap, it looks like. Pretty soon their stuff will get handed out the window. Decaf and a half dozen donut? A uh, half dozen donut and a decaf coffee. Yeah, we don't have a double chocolate, don't we want to try another donut? Uh, just throw another chocolate dip in. Chocolate dip? Yep. Does it another chocolate dip? And how would I like to pay? Uh, with my watch here. Is it working? Sometimes it doesn't work. Did it work that time? Excellent. Thank you. It's very hot here. What's that? It's hot here. It is. It's very hot outside. Thank you. See ya. Well, that's that. I can close the window and enjoy the air conditioning again. I can't eat the, uh, my donut yet, though. I promised I would wait until I get home. So this next restaurant is called Wendy's and I'm going to use the phrase, could I have, and I might even use please, like could I please have uh, when I ordered here. I'm going to pay with Visa this time, which will probably look the same as me paying with my debit card because you just tap it. Hopefully I can just tap it. Uh, and I think I'm gonna order some chicken nuggets or chicken tenders or chicken strips. There's all different kinds of chicken that you can order. And I think uh, one of my kids likes chicken, so I'll order some chicken and maybe a small Sprite. Hi, can I take a piece? Um, yeah, can I get uh, an order of chicken strips? With the plum sauce? Uh, yeah, so three chicken strips with plum sauce. Could I have a six piece crispy chicken nuggets? And could I please have a second order of chicken strips, I think? So six strips and six piece, anything else? No, that's everything. Yes, thank you. Thank you. So I ordered a, a second order because I wasn't sure if I used the right phrase. I told you I was going to say, could I have or could I please have? And then I kind of blanked there and I'm not sure what I said. I'll check when I go back to the edit. And uh, I said I was going to pay with Visa so I should get my card out. I think she said second window. I better go to the second window. Hi, 1850. Uh, can I pay with Visa? Yeah. Might have to insert it. Approved. I'm not sure if I remember to order a Sprite. My daughter will be disappointed if I forgot. 
Thank you. Thank you. Yep, I forgot. Maybe I'll stop along the way home and pick that up for her. Hi, could I get a small Sprite? Of course. Well, thank you so much for watching this English lesson where you got to ride along with me to a few different restaurants and hopefully you were able to learn some of the phrases we use when we order food in English when we're going through the drive-thru. Uh, remember, if this is your first time here, don't forget to click that red subscribe button. I'm not sure what side it's on. Uh, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment below. Uh, and if you have some time, why don't you stick around and watch another English lesson? Bye.